Prachi Gupta. Welcome to today's COVID Bulletin. On 27 July, Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched three new high-throughput COVID testing facilities which have been set up in Noida, Kolkata and Mumbai through video conferencing. These facilities ramp up the testing capacity of the country by testing over 10,000 samples per day. These labs will reduce turnaround time and exposure of lab personnel to infectious clinical materials. These labs will not remain restricted to testing of coronavirus, but will be expanded to testing many other diseases including hepatitis B and C, HIV and Deggy in the future. The labs have been set up at Noida-based ICMR's National Institute of Cancer Prevention and Research, Mumbai-based ICMR's National Institute for Research in Reproductive Health and Kolkata-based ICMR's National Institute of Cholera and Enteric Diseases. Testing, tracking and treatment remains the mantra to contain the spread of the virus till a vaccine is available. More testing will allow us to track and treat the patients at a greater pace, ensuring that death rate is less in the country. Let's see what the Prime Minister said at the launch of the facilities. Jin high-tech, state-of-the-art testing facility ka launch hua hai, usse Pashim Mangal, Maharashtra, और उत्तर प्रदेश को कोरोना के खिलाफ लड़ाई में और ताकत मिलने वाली है साथियों दिल्ली एनसीआर मुंबई और कोलकाता आर्थिक गतिविधियों के भी बड़े सेंटर हैं यहां देश के लाखों युवा अपने कैरियर को अपने सपनों को पूरा करने आते हैं अब तीनों जगह टेस्ट की जो उपलब्ध कैपेसिटी है उसमें 10000 टेस्ट की कैपेसिटी और जुड़ने जा रही है अब इन शहरों में टेस्ट और ज्यादा तेजी से हो सकेंगे। To understand the extent of COVID-19 infection in India, zero prevalence studies are being conducted in many parts of the country. The data received through such surveys will help us in understanding the percentage of people who have already been exposed to COVID-19 and have been recovered. One such study will now be conducted in Mumbai, for which the scientists from the DBT's Faridabad-based Translational Health Science and Technology Institute and other Mumbai-based institutes would work together. The study will help to estimate the prevalence of the current and the past COVID-19 infections. It will cover various representative communities in Mumbai at different time intervals, apart from understanding how the infection has spread in the city over time. To conduct such a study, the scientists will test the blood of individuals for the presence of antibodies against COVID-19. The presence of these antibodies will confirm the exposure to the virus, which may or may not have led to symptoms. These surveys will help us understand the underlying risk factors of the disease, including a person's age, location or comorbidities and help policy makers in deciding the further course of action. DRDO's New Delhi-based Defence Institute of Physiology and Allied Sciences has come up with an evaporator-type fogging device to sanitize workspaces and associated accessories. This fogger can be used with any type of chemical suitable for particular disinfection purposes and can carry 500 ml of chemical disinfectant. The system consists of a small chemical reservoir, suction mechanism, evaporation mechanism and a blower. The complete system and the chemical chamber are made up of stainless steel to avoid corrosion. The fogging time can be calculated depending upon the size of the room and the dwelling time will remain the same. For example, a room of about 1000 cubic feet would require fogging time of around 8 minutes with dwelling time of 60 minutes. With this product, we can easily make our homes and workplaces safer. That is all for now. We will be back with another edition of COVID-19 Bulletin soon. Namaskar.